Hey y'all, what's up? So I've been seeing these videos where people are no longer using foundation, just contouring and using concealer. So I thought I would give it a try. So today I'm gonna be using Fenty um, as my contour stick. This is in the color Truffle. And I'm gonna be using this Elf Camo Concealer. It is really light. <laughs> so I'm gonna be mixing that with the Dose of Colors. Um, so yeah, we're going we're going to see how this works. Got to get that double chin. All right, y'all, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I have this little brush I like to blend out with because it is tapered and it's super dense. So I really like using this one. So I don't know if it's me, maybe I just need a little bit more cause I like, I'm gonna just put a little more. I really didn't need that much on this side, but. I actually didn't put any <laughs> primer on. So I'm probably still going to go in and use it. I'm just going to use it on the areas I didn't apply my uh, concealer. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean it up because that is not contour. This is contour. This is not. All right. And you know what, actually, I would usually am, so this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I know that everyone has kind of been crazy over this. I been using it, but I also feel like my makeup has been separating lately and I never really had that problem. So I just have a really great moisturizer on and some uh, SPF and I'm actually not going to use this today. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to go in with this concealer from Dose of Colors. I do have a lot of redness in here, but I do not color correct. I'm hoping that it kind of goes away on its own. I'm not really sure. I just kind of have it. I don't know why. But. So I'm just going to come in and I'm actually going to cut this. I mean. I do have this huge um, beauty blender or sponge earrings. Pulled the hair out of the face, but the earrings did there. All right, so I actually like that. What do you guys think? Of course, I think, you know, more blending and things like that, but. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I can see this is actually a new blemish. That was not completely covered.
Now I'm gonna go in with some, um, this is the e.l.f. Camo, uh, camo Concealer. It's matte and in the shade neutral, uh, tan neutral, which is too light for me. But so I'm actually gonna blend it. I'm gonna do a little bit more here, a little bit more there, a little bit more here. And I'm gonna do a little bit more there. I'm just gonna do, yeah, this is a little bit white. And I'm gonna do a little bit there. Here, a little there. I can't. I don't really feel like I wanna do that. I feel like it kinda already has enough. All right, let's work that out. Harry Potter first. It's so beautiful. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna take my time and kind of blend this out onto the tip of my nose. The tip of my nose, and then I am going to. Do, 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 do. I'm so excited. And I make weird sounds when I'm excited, so. like this now of course powder setting powder um, not really all over the face but I do go in with a um, actually didn't pick that on the ground alright you guys so something I've actually been doing lately is let me um, setting in between sections so I'm actually gonna come here I want to blend that out a little bit more. And I'm going to come in. I'm actually going to go on with the Poor Person, uh, Poor Fashional <laughs> by Benefit. I got to be honest with y'all. I feel like there was a lot of craze around this setting spray, and I just don't see why. Um, it is basic. It doesn't crazy hold. Um, and this is with the primer. This is with everything's setting powder. It doesn't. It's like a nothing special for me. So yeah, I mean, I like it. I think this is a deep contour so I can um kind of you know go in and do a little bit more with that but i probably will do that with this so this is not necessarily this is by elf elf and this is not necessarily a i don't know i feel, I feel like this might be a foundation actually i don't really know if like i don't buy bronzers or anything um maybe it is a contour powder possibly probably um, but it could just be like a powder foundation. So I'm going to blend this harshness out with that. Or should I, should I go in and like, like, 
like kind of balloon and just you know oh that was better i don't know why i didn't do that y'all i'm tripping up for white yeah so i like this i'm not mad at it at all i feel like ugly mm. definitely feel like i need some setting powder for sure um but outside of that i feel good now I picked these up now these are the um professional these are blushes and these i kind of like a dupe for i don't want to say rare beauty or like some of the more popular liquid blushes and so i've seen people so i know i've seen people apply like liquid blushes even after they've set like their under eye and I'm always nervous to do that because I'm like, ooh, is that powder gonna like do something? So I try to do all my liquid together and then all my powder together. So um, that's because I, I'm like a preventative person in my in my opinion, I feel like sometimes, in most cases, some cases. Um, so yeah, we have a couple shades. So I have Sangria, I have Bellini, I have Paloma, I think that's how you say it. I have Mai Tai. So honestly, Mai Tai and Bellini look so similar. Um, I've swatched them in a, in a video pri prior to this, but I'm just gonna see now. I wanna use Sangria, but at the same time, I feel like At the same time, I kind of feel like um, this is like more fall in my opinion. So I'm like, maybe I should use my tie. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use my tie because it's like a hint more pinky or peachy than um, Bowini. So let's go in with it. And so this is what the applicator looks like. Let me actually show you guys what the other one looks like. This is Bellini compared to, so this is Bellini. This looks a little dry. Right. So this this is Bellini and this is Mai Tai. So y'all can see that it's look a little bit more peachy. This one makes it feel like, mm, ain't nothing really there, but it's something there. I kinda wanna go with a little bit more, it's there, I can see it's there, okay? That's what I'm thinking about. So I'm going to, I think in the last video that I swatched these, I don't even know if I used them. And I'm not really a blush girl, y'all. I know that sounds weird, but to me, when I contour, I kind of feel like I look like I'm blushing a little bit, maybe. All right. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go back in a little bit because I feel like that side had a little bit more product. I'm actually gonna do another dot here. All right, so let me grab a brush real quick. And let's blend this out. So I actually use this dense brush for, use this brush for my powder uh, blush. So I do have a little bit on here, um, but I'm gonna use it for this one as well. So we gonna see, I like, Oh, okay. Can y'all see that? I feel like that disappeared. Did it disappear for y'all too? All right, let's see. I can't see it. So maybe I just need to use a little bit more. Let's go in a little bit heavier and let's, ooh, I pushed it there. <laughs> I tried it, y'all. I hope I didn't push it too much to move around that contour and that um, concealer, but we gonna see. All right. And this is a dense brush. So in my opinion, I feel like dense brushes definitely apply like um, more. Okay, this is actually pretty. 
oh my gosh this this is like giving me i'm at the beach and i'm fly okay i'm at the beach with my husband and my kids and um uh, it's like that pre i don't know if I, i'm sure y'all get this but it's like that pre color before you actually get your tan and that's why you see it up here and in here which kind of look a little bit red so Do, 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 do. All right. It's a piece of hair. Let's not do that. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love this. This is such a pretty blush. This is definitely, I feel like this is me. This is definitely for my, what y'all think? I'm actually going to take a little bit of this and put it on my arm, the size of my nose. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit there, maybe a little bit there. I hope I don't set my cards on what we about to see. And I'm just going to, I'm actually just gonna. I'm gonna be careful just to try to keep that in the same area, keep it pretty. Like that just messed up my um contour but let's just come in a little bit more with that let's see what's up yeah now i just feel like my nose just blends in with my face so what i'm gonna do is actually go back in with some of my contour and i'm actually gonna take a different brush i'm actually gonna use this brush and I'm going to come back in a little bit. I don't want to say harsher, but more defined. All right, and I'm just gonna blend that out. Say I'm on. I don't even know that song's in my head. I can't remember the last time I heard that. No, maybe I did. I heard it on like a movie or something. did anything but we gonna move on so yeah this is what it looks like and i think i'm a fan i think, I think so so what i'm gonna do is actually come in and so yeah i do see a little bit of creaking so i'm just gonna come back in i'm not gonna put more product and i'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more um this happens whether I use a primer or not. I feel like, forget it. Um, I forgot, but it's okay. And now, I'm gonna go in with Beauty Bakery. This is the bite size um, flower, pinch of flower um, setting power. And it's in the color Plantain. Car uh, caramel, caramel, whichever one y'all say. And this is basically the color. And I actually like that. I like um, a little bit of yellow tint with my I'm trying my best to make sure like my beauty blender is still wet because I really don't like to bake. I just press, you know. So I just press it in. It just does its thing. And then now I'm about to go on with some more on the other side. 
and same thing with like a press. I'm gonna just break back up a little bit more here. So because it's like a little bit of tint, I am going to bring it down just a little bit more. The um, setting powder, it is feeling tight, so but it's okay because I'm going to go into, see, I hate that, but <clears throat> I don't hate anything, so I can say that, but I don't like that. Come in here, boom, boom, boom. And I'm actually going to come around my mouth so that... There's no movement or no creasing there. Um, I feel like that's kind of only way, the only place I usually like to put my setting powder. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Um, and then a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna go into this right here and I'm going to contour with this. Um, I'm actually gonna go with this brush. Usually I do like a more tapered. This one right here, it does have um oh that was um it does have a little bit on here. Um but so I'm gonna just do a little swirl and then So now I'm actually, I know I've done some like setting and everything, but I'm actually gonna go into my eyes and I'm going to do a little some, some, not too much. I feel like, let me see. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't wanna go to, I don't wanna like do like a crazy uh, primer or anything like that. I just wanna come in, I wanna add some depth. And now we are gonna go into this Rude palette. This is um, such a beautiful palette. Um, oh, this is cute. And it says chapter, the girl shaking the world, fantasy world, do whatever you want. The time, the times they are changing in Rude age. So I just think that is so beautiful. I actually hit a little nick right there, but I'm just gonna go into this one and I'm just gonna go into like the neutral colors. I might do a little bit of shimmer, but I don't know. So I have this brush right here, which this normally would be like a, but I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Um, and I'm actually gonna go into this top shade right here. And I'm going to just put that as a base on my lid. Um, I'm gonna move some stuff over. I'm gonna do that as a base on my lid. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I just wanna wanna lighten up the lid, like the darkness and discoloration um, a little bit. I just wanna do that down at the base. This is not the best brush to have done that, but it's working, so let's just do what we gonna do.
So I'm gonna actually use this and I'm gonna just go in with like, I'm trying to decide. I don't wanna, so I don't wanna do, this is a little bit cool for me and I love warm tones. So I feel like this, like maybe following this here and doing, building up like that tradition. Um, that's what I'm thinking. And then this is pretty cute. So I was thinking about doing a little bit of pink, which if you could see, that's like a little bit of a shimmer color. And so, yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. So let's just go with, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, don't, I couldn't see it here, but this is actually a shimmer. So we're not gonna do that. Um, or if we do, we could, no, I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna just start here or Mm, I wish this one wasn't as, but you know what? Shimmer might not be bad. Let's actually take a look at it. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. So let's go in with that. Even though it's shimmery, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of shimmer. I just don't want like super shimmery here. It just has like light flakes, which you guys might not be able to see, but it does. So I'm gonna go in with that. I got mine here. And here we go. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. This is so pretty. So I'm just coming in like in my crease. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Come down. I wanna load a lot of right here because I want all of this to show outside of like what I'm building that up to be. Which it's so pretty that I almost feel like I don't know if I really wanna darken it up because it's such a compliment to the blush right here. So I'm just like, what? I don't know, let me see. Hmm. So pretty. Just gonna build it up and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Not going completely to my um, brow bone, but you know, I really want like a pretty, pretty gradient feel for this. Look at that y'all, tell me that ain't cute. You can't tell me cause it is. It's cute. So, you know, just a little bit of softness and yeah. Shout out to um, the um, makers of the um, Soft Life Through Christ podcast. I have been listening and I've been loving so much of what they're talking about. So shout out to y'all. If you haven't checked them out, it is so transformative. I love hearing people and their true and authentic walks with uh you know with christ and things that they you know are working on and you know kind of like i just love it so shout out to y'all i've been enjoying it and i'm so excited for so many more episodes to come because it has been something as i'm like you know getting closer to god and not that we were like you know i do have a relationship with god but just it just is so refreshing to see people um, openly speaking about deliverance, openly speaking about um, their new life and what those transitions are because sometimes I feel like it can be a kind of a closeted thing. Um, and I'm so blessed to, you know, have found it and I feel so blessed that, you know, being able to follow like-minded people. So I love that. If y'all ever see this, shout out to y'all. All right, so here we are. Day I'm
Mm. All right, y'all. So I'm liking this eye as it is. And so I'm not going to go in any further with any other eye color. I like how this is light and beautiful and pretty. I love that. I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply some of the molds that I have back in. Beauty marks, whatever. And, oh, let me actually come in with this. I'm going to just sweep that off and have some fallout. So, yeah. So it's okay, it's not too much. All right, so I messed up on this and this one, but I'm just gonna actually let them dry and then I'm gonna come in with a brush and like kind of scrub it off a little bit. Um, in the meantime, let's see. I'm gonna go in with some mascara because I feel like I wanna wear some lashes today, but I kind of don't at the same time. So we're going to see how I feel after this. If you feel like you are like losing lashes or you feel like they don't, they're not like there, try if you, and this won't be for everybody, but sometimes people feel like their lashes get to a certain point and then all of a sudden it's like they don't have any like that i think that you want to make sure that you are taking off your mascara properly i always recommend an oil um cleanser or oil some type of oil to break down your makeup and that way it's not as harsh and just give it some time you know um and don't sleep in it most times if you sleep in it or you don't take off all of your mascara you will lose lashes and you won't even realize it until like hey like you won't realize it until you realize it you know so oh, i'm just gonna come in at the bottom and add these Only thing I don't care about with this L'Oreal Telescopic, it's so hard sometimes to get the wand back in. That's annoying to me. But I promise I ain't using no other mascara. It's gonna be this one. And we gonna have this relationship of me trying to stuff it back in and it's just gonna be that. Look, I promise you I'm not playing. Come on now. Come on, go back in. It's wild. Actually, I think it just, maybe it broke a little bit. I don't know. Come on, please. Yeah, that's kind of annoying because now I have to wipe the black stuff off because I have to actually have to touch it. It's wild to me. So I might 
because of that, try something different. Yeah, so I kind of broke the wand a little bit. ain't gonna be no love just like relationship my environments no more especially in a wire it just kind of broke like that because now i feel like i can't even really control how much product i'm putting on here do i have another and then it's also the specifics in, in this brush <sighs> this is annoying so i'm gonna go in with this right here into here but it's annoying to have to do that because make better products. And see, I don't even feel like I get the definition like I want to with this. I'm going in there. It's coming out, so... So can y'all see the difference in this eye and this eye? Around here. And actually, I feel like that's okay. I'm gonna get some lip gloss, I'm um, gonna some lip liner, and then I'm gonna set, and then that's gonna be it. All right, so I have this lip pencil from NYX, and then I have this lip oil that I've never actually used from Bath and Body Works. If you are sleeping on Bath and Body Works lip gloss, you're tripping. Cause that is like an everyday lip gloss for me. I usually don't do the ones in these, but I will do these kind. I, I stay with these, multiple kind. I, I have at least on hand, if I get lower than like two, I'm going back. Of each one, I'm going to get, I'm going back. So let's see, this says it's a lip oil, but it is pretty pigmented. Let me see. Mm, but you know what? It might go. So let's just focus on it. Light smells pretty. All right, so. Okay, so there's this theory that if you um, go up, you are making your lips bigger, but if you come down, you're making it smaller. 
I don't know if that's true. So I kind of do an alternate at the top. So I don't want it to, I don't want it to be bigger, but I also don't want it to be super small. Okay, so that's it for that. Um, this is a Milani. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is. Um, is this Milani? I've always thought that this was Milani, but like maybe it's Black Radiance or something. It's old but I've been using it for a while and it's definitely a go-to for me. All right, so just have a couple hairs coming out. I'm actually going to come here. Let's see, what's what? I haven't really set my face. Normally it's better when I set my face, but we gonna see. Oh, it's okay. It's so pretty. So I like that. See, that's what's going to be there. You can't really see because it's like not super reflective. But it's all right. Um, I'm going to do some on my nose like that. And then I'm actually going to go down the top part of my bridge. Yeah, that's a little bit of Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with something like this. And one of my favorite things to do is outline my cupid's bow.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this. This was $12.50, by the way. Um, just, y'all probably already know that, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Ooh. So it is pigmented, but it is definitely a lip oil. It's not a, uh, it's a, it's a lip oil and it, and it has tint, but not crazy tint. So that was super pretty. Happy I did that. Okay. Do I need to do anything else? No. All right, y'all. So this is the look. Simple, easy. I, okay combo i stopped doing like lashes and like super super like i know that this is a lot of makeup kind of depending on who you ask but like um i stopped doing makeup a certain type of way because i felt like it was kind of covering up the way that i look and i actually love the way i look and i love my features and i just want to enhance them so in this way you can see through see my skin a bit it's not super Full coverage or anything um let me actually do some setting spray so in the beginning i use this and i don't i i've had this for a while i'm almost out and i feel like i might want to do this today Okay, I like my face to be super wet when I get done. I also have this Milani. It's the um, Make It Last Dewy. And this is beautiful. It says 16 hour wear. I'm not 100% sure of that. Maybe if I didn't, I, I'm not really, I'm not a crazy oily when I don't moisturize properly, I can get really oily. But um, I do feel like this maybe not won't last for all 16 hours because like I was saying, I've been using that and I feel like my makeup's kind of been separating. But it also could be primer and everything. So this is the first time I'm not using primer in a really long time. And so I'm excited. Are you excited? Alright, so let's go and let's um ooh. here we go. Yo sir, Yanni, don't talk to your brother that way. stuck like that so kind of trying to get it not stuck that way I kind of like how it can look like a little bit I like to do some stuff at the roots to make it a little bit bigger So this is the look. I'm about to be out of here. I want to enjoy a day with my family. Um, I, I know, <sighs> release is beautiful. I feel like I have been the least stressful I've been in a really long time. And yeah, so I hope you guys love this look and I will talk to you soon. Bye.